Um, what I've been doing this week is working on this front page to a dashboard that I'm creating. One of the really important um, usability uh, features, I think, of a good dashboard is that we have an indication of how old this data may be. This data is coming from a set of CSV files that aren't necessarily updated every single day. Um, so I think it's very important when you present this kind of information to our users that they have a clear idea of how fresh this data is. So I wanted to put a last updated uh, time and a date here that you can see. Uh, I've managed to do it. Uh, it took a little bit of thinking about. So this is to show you how we can pull this information uh, into our uh, visualizations. So the information here actually comes from the time and date stamp on the CSV file that I extract, in this case, from my pupil database. I'll show you exactly what I mean if I have a look at the file view. And here is the subdirectory to which I'm extracting my CSV files from my pupil database. And you'll see here, for example, pupil data has a last modified date um, and time stamped here. And it's this uh, information that I'm picking up and displaying in the visualization because this reflects the moment that I last ran this particular extract report from the pupil database. So it's the best indicator that I have of the freshness of the data that you can see uh, on the actual visualization. So how do we pull this information then into a visualization? Well, we can actually use um, the get data option here from um, uh, uh, the front page of Power BI. If we click on get data, after a short, a short pause, it comes up with this option here. And we're very familiar, of course, with getting data from an Excel source or a text source or another uh, access database or whatever. But we have this option here to get data from the folder, the folder that contains files. And if you choose that one and connect to it, eventually it will come up with folder path and we can browse to the folder that contains our data. And this is mine. And I can click OK. And what it will now do is it will create a table in the data model. This is how it's going to do it. This is the information it's picked up. And you can see what it's done. It's picked up the actual names of the files, the extension, date access, date modified, which is the one that we saw on the file listing uh, from Windows earlier, and the folder in the path uh, and one or two other uh, attributes there as well. So we can load this and it will load into, into the model as a table. So here it comes. And eventually when it's finished, you'll see we're able to, to access that as a table. So here it is uh, accessed as a table and we can use that information now in our um, visualizations. There is just one thing I would do at this stage, that's rename it. When you first import this as a table, the table name is the name of the folder, which is a little bit confusing. So I'm going to rename this folder just by clicking on rename here. And I'll call it file date info. So now I have a table that I can refer to as file date info. There's file date info. And there's all the um, um, data columns in that uh, uh, database, in that table rather. So now if I go back to my visualizations, I can unhide these two panes here. Maybe go to a fresh page. And I can add um, a table visualization. And to the table visualization, I'll select my new file date info table. And I'll add some useful columns. I think the first one should be folder path. And you can drop it either straight on the visualization or you can add it to values here. Then I'll have the name because that's the actual name of the file. So now if I make this a little bit bigger. And maybe improve the size of the text so you can see the size of the text, which I think is under column headers. Let's just make that 
text slightly bigger, maybe bring it up to 16 points. And I'm going to add date modified because date modified is probably the most useful uh, of the fields. Again, I can just drag it across onto the table visualization. For some reason, best known to Power BI, it displays it as year, quarter, month, and day, which is not quite how I wanted to see it. But you can see what it's done here. There's date modified. Um, we'll not show it as a date hierarchy, which is the default. We'll just show it as date modified. So we've got that value there. If you want to, you can put date accessed and date created on there. But the one that's really useful is date modified. So there you can see how we could maybe use this as an appendix to our um, uh, visualizations on a final page of its own. Uh, just to confirm when the updates took place to the various different CSV files that form the basis of this report. Or if you want to go back to our front page, here's where we use that date um, on as a, um, um, a card on the home page. And I set the card up so it has the earliest date modified. So this is looking at the date modified. We've included that on the card, the date modified. It's the earliest date modified. Could have been the latest. There should only be one occurrence of that date modified because I've put a, a visual level filter. Here's the visual level filters on there. And I've selected pupil data CSV on the basic filtering there. So I'm just selecting pupil data CSV tick against that box means that that date there only relates to that one single CSV file. So that will always just reflect the time that pupil data CSV was last regenerated from my pupil data. So that's one possible use of uh, this function to add the last updated statistics to any given visualization. Thank you.